Hey, I'm Theo and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to start blogging and create this beautiful blog, which is perfect for 2018 and beyond. It's fresh, clean, fun, and it's sophisticated. It makes people want to keep looking around and discover all your great blog posts. And it's mobile responsive, so it will work on any device. We've gone through hundreds of themes to find you the best one out there that is perfect and does everything you need and more. It's also super easy to set up and get going. It speaks for itself, just look how beautiful it is. Your blog posts are going to look amazing using this theme and you'll also save thousands of dollars and weeks or months of your time by paying someone else to do it for you. I'll be showing you every step of the way. So. By the end of this video, you will have your very own fully functional blog ready for you to start publishing your blog posts and grow your audience. This is super cheap to get up and running and it'll cost you less than having dinner out. It's the best investment you can make. This is perfect for you whether you're just starting out blogging or you're looking for a fresh new blog. Or maybe you're a small or medium business, a photographer, an artist, entrepreneur, or maybe you're someone who is just keen to have their very own blog. Well, this is literally just copy and pasting, dragging and dropping what you want, where you want it to be. It's really easy. We'll be using a platform called WordPress, which is used worldwide by some of the biggest companies and celebrities, such as Forbes, Mashable, Jay-Z, eBay, Katy Perry, just to name a few. And by the end of this video, you're going to be a pro at using WordPress and you will have this blog as your very own, customized to how you want it with your own blog posts. And don't worry if you haven't got any images or content yet, I'll help you out with that a little later. And I understand you might feel a little overwhelmed or think you won't be able to do this and that's natural. But believe me, you will. And in about an hour, this will be your blog because I'll be showing you every step to creating this. You'll get the hang of it quickly and you'll see it's actually easy. And if you ever need to pause the video, please do. Have a stretch, a breather, and then continue with it. It's very quick to get this done. So are you ready? Grab a drink and a snack, get comfortable, and let's start creating your blog. I've created a simple system to creating your blog. So in just four easy steps, You'll have your blog live on the internet. No gimmicks and no overwhelm, just four steps and you'll have this done. So what will you be doing in the next four steps and what can you expect to achieve? Let's take a look at that now. Step one is all about registering your new blog's address, also known as your domain name. You'll learn what a domain name is, how to register one, and tips on the best practices when choosing one. Just like buying a house and having an address, so friends and family can visit. Your blog address is there so people can visit your blog. We've also got a great little coupon code which will reduce the cost for you even more. Then you'll install WordPress to your new domain. In step two, you're gonna be amazed how your new blog looks because we'll be installing a new theme which will transform the look and feel of your blog. And again, it takes just a few clicks to do this. You'll get to know what a theme is and be introduced to your new theme and how to install and activate it. And then we'll take a sneak peek at how it looks. In step three, you'll start creating the foundations of your blog and get it online. You will learn the ins and outs of your new theme and create the different sections for your blog, such as your about page, a contact page so visitors can carry on the conversation and connect with you. It grows trust in you and it expands people's awareness for what you're doing. You're going to have lots of fun in this step watching your blog come to life because you'll be also creating your first blog posts. Having a blog really gives you the opportunity to deeply connect and talk to your audience about the things that matter to them the most. It also builds and establishes the know, like and trust factor with them. You can do this by giving the audience regular, fresh and relevant content which speaks to their interests and fulfills their wants and needs. And don't worry if you haven't written before or you don't want to. I'll tell you some great resources that you can use to get this done for you. And in step four, you'll be having so much fun because I'm gonna be showing you some of our favorite plugins to use on your new blog. 
and these will be game changing to your success. If you don't know what a plugin is yet, you're in for a great surprise because basically they are little tools that enhance your blog's capabilities. For example, one plugin makes it easy for people to share your content to their social media, growing your audience even more. And another one speeds up your blog, which search engines like Google love. We've been researching and testing the best plugins to use, and soon you'll be using them too. My name's Theo, and I'm the lead content creator here at Websites Made Easy, and I can't wait to get going with this. I'm excited to show you all the goodies coming up. So let's jump straight in and get started creating your new blog. The first step is to register a domain name and get hosting. And as you know, a domain name is the name of your blog. It's what people type in to visit your site. So for example, our domain is websitesmadeeasy.tv. Hosting is just somewhere for your blog to live. Like I said earlier, it's just like moving house. Your blog will have somewhere to live and have an address. And good news, both of these things are super cheap and so easy to do. We use HostGator to do both of these things and you can get your domain and hosting with them. We've used HostGator for years because they're fast, reliable and they're cheap and they know WordPress. So you want to head to HostGator and when you're there, you now want to click on get started. And now we can scroll down and you'll see three different options. The hatchling plan, the baby plan and the business plan. Now the business plan is more expensive than we need, so I'm gonna focus on these other two. The baby plan is perfect if you're planning on using more than one domain name because it lets you host unlimited domains. The hatchling plan is slightly cheaper, but you can only use one domain with it. For this video, I'm gonna use the hatchling plan. On this next page, you just need to fill out some information about the domain that you want and the hosting. So here is where you choose your domain. And all you do is type in the name that you're after and it will see if it's available. And you can also change it from .com, .co.uk, .tv or whatever you're looking for. I'd recommend staying with .com or something that relates to your business or where you live. So if you write a domain and you get a green tick, that means it's available. Think about this carefully. If you need to just pause the video while you come up with that unique domain name, please do, and then press play when you're ready. For this blog, I'm gonna have yourbeautifulblog.com for the domain, and I'm gonna deselect this, which will take the cost down further, and it's up to you if you want to keep this option or not. The next step is to choose your hosting plan, a username and a security pin. So like before, I'll choose the hatching plan and choose how long you want your plan. You can choose between a month to month subscription or up to three years. I'm gonna do it for a year for this example, as it does usually work out cheaper than doing it month to month. Next, you want to fill out your payment information. So again, pause if you need to and press play once you're ready. One thing you want to make sure is to use a good email address here as HostGator will send you an email with your login details. So make sure it's a real email address that you can access. Next is additional services. And by default, HostGator has added on a few extra services that we don't need right now. So I'll make sure these are unselected. You can always get these later on if you need them. So here is the coupon code. And to help you even more, I've got a special code for you to use, which will reduce the cost by 50%. You want to enter it here. So type in WordPress hero and then validate it. Fantastic. Now make sure you're happy with everything and that you agree with the terms and click on check out now. And you're all done. Congratulations. You're now the proud owner of your own domain name. And now all you do is install WordPress to your domain, which is quick and easy. Keep this window open and it should redirect you to the HostGator website and into your account which we'll be using in a moment. Okay, HostGator will have sent you some emails, so go and find those now. Here is the one that you want, account info. Click that to open it and you'll see a few links, but the only one that you need is the control panel link, which is this one. Click on that to go to your cPanel. So log in using the username and password which you chose. At first, this might look a bit overwhelming. It did for me when I first saw it, 
There's a lot of different things that you can do here, but all you need to do right now is find the software and services area. So scroll down and you'll see it here. Now find quick install and click on that. And then you want to find WordPress here and click on that. Then select your new domain from the drop down and click next. And all you need to do now is fill in a few things here, such as a blog title, a username, the first and last name of the person who will be looking after your blog, and an email address. And then click on install WordPress. Again, pause the video if you need to and play again when you're ready. Once you've installed WordPress, you'll get a success message that it's complete. Your username and password will be here, as well as a link to your brand new blog. You'll also get an email with all of this in as well. When you're ready, click on the link or login, and this will take you to the login or back end of your blog so you can edit and start creating it. Now, you might get an error message saying the page isn't available yet, so don't worry. This is completely normal. You may have to wait until everything with your new blog is set up and then click that link again. Also, sometimes you have to set up the name servers for your new blog. And don't worry about this, it's easy to do. Just open up that page again that you kept open, or if you didn't, head over to hostgator.com by clicking the customer portal and then logging in using the username and password, which you'll have in the email. Now you want to click on domains and click on your domain here, then find the name servers and click on change, then click on automatically point my domain to my hosting account. Then save and you're all done. And now you should be able to log in. So enter your username and password to log into your WordPress and you're in. You're now on your blog's dashboard and you're the proud owner of an online blog. Well done for sticking with this. It's a huge achievement and the real fun is about to begin. It's gonna get even more fun and exciting as you start building out your beautiful new blog, adding videos and images that really make your content stand out. I've got lots of exciting things to show you, so let's get started. So this is your dashboard, which you'll be seeing a lot of, and you'll probably have some messages pop up, like this one, which you can just close. On the left is your toolbar, with lots of options, such as posts, pages, appearance, plugins, settings, and so on. And as you start creating your blog, you'll notice more tools appearing here. You'll be using all these to bring your blog to life. And also, if you want to, you can tidy this area up by clicking these arrows to minimize the windows. So the first thing is to make sure your blog's settings are correctly set up so everything functions and works well. This is gonna create a strong foundation for your blog. So head to settings here, on the left and we'll quickly go through each of these different areas. The first one is general. Here you can set your blog's site title and tagline which is good for SEO. So use keywords that match what your blog or brand is about. This helps Google rank your blog and put it in front of relevant people searching for the same content. Below that is your WordPress address. You don't want to change these as it will stop your blog from working. So don't touch these. Below that is your email address, and make sure you've got a good email address here, and you can also set the site language and time zone if you'd like to. And the rest of this looks good, so now make sure you save changes here, and whenever you do something, you always want to make sure to save. Next, let's head to writing. Everything here looks good, so let's go to reading. Page displays is how you set up your blog to either show your latest blog posts on the front page, or a static page. We'll be coming back to this a little later, so for now, I'll leave this as it is. And you also want to make sure to select summary for this option, so your blog posts won't be displayed in full. They'll just show a summary of what the post is about. Then save, and click on discussion. Here you want to look at email me whenever. Anyone posts a comment, and a comment is held for moderation. And this means before a comment appears, do you want it to be manually approved or not? This makes sure you're not just getting any comments on your blog and whether you want an email every time someone comments. Down here, you've also got avatar and you'll see an option here called gravatar. This enables you to have a little photo which people will recognize when you comment, reply 
or join in the conversation with your audience. You've probably seen these before. For example, on our YouTube channel here, you can see everyone has their own photo. It's the same for your blog, and this creates a community. It's more personable and human. To set this up is easy. All you do is go to gravatar.com and create a free account. It's really simple and it just takes a minute. Then you can upload your photo and it'll show up on your blog. Here we go, I've just done mine. And as you can see, here's my image. So take a minute to do that and I'll see you in a moment. Okay, great. Now make sure you save changes and then click on media. Everything looks good here, so now click on permalinks. Here you can set how your blog organises its pages URL. You need to have it set to post name, because as you can see, this is much easier to read and understand than the default setting. This will allow search engines to see more clearly what your blog is about, so it will be ranked higher in search results, and your content will be viewed by the right people who are actively looking for what your product or service is about. So make sure it's on post name, and when you're done, click save. Awesome, we're all done with those settings. Well done, I know going through settings can be a bit boring, but these are so important to get right, and so many people don't realize this. But you've got the foundation set, and now the real fun begins, because you're gonna transform and start building your blog. Let's go back to the dashboard by clicking here. Now, I want you to go to your toolbar on the left and find Appearance, and then click on Themes. This page shows all the themes that you have available. The one we'll be using is already active. It's WordPress's 2017 theme. So we're ready to go, and it's already set up. And a theme is basically the look and feel of your blog or website. Just so you know how to add a theme, you would click here, and it will take you to this page where you can search thousands of themes available. But we've done the hard work for you. We know 2017 does everything you need and it's all ready to go. So head to the dashboard again. And now let's take a quick look at how your blog looks right now. To do this, head up here, right click and open this up in a new tab. Absolutely beautiful. It instantly draws you in with this big header image I love how quick it is to do this. I'm sure you agree. This looks great. It's a professional, clean, fresh, fun blog to browse around. Your visitors are going to love this. It's going to be amazing once you've finished creating this and you've added all your own content to it. Right now, this is like moving into a new home, ready for you to decorate and make your own. Before I started working with James at Websites Made Easy, I thought building a blog was hard, time consuming, confusing, and I didn't really know the first thing about it. Now I'm amazed at how fast and how easy it can be. What used to take months can be done in an hour. All of our time is precious. We don't want to sit for weeks creating a blog. I know I don't, so this theme is definitely the one to have. Head back to your dashboard by clicking on your other tab or hovering over here and clicking on dashboard. Let's remove the default content that comes with this theme as we won't be using that. So head to posts and all posts, then hover over this post and click on trash. Next, go to pages and all pages and do the same with this sample page as we'll be creating our own pages. Okay, now you're in a great place to start building your blog. I want this to be as easy as possible for you so you can get this done faster than ever before and looking amazing. So I've got a little surprise for you. I'm gonna give you every image that I'm using on this blog. So you can follow along with me every step of the way and not have to go and find your own images right now. These are top quality images that I've sourced specifically from our friends over at unsplash.com. They're completely free for you to use and come from some amazing photographers. You have to check this website out, it's incredible. And it's our go-to resource for any images that we need. You want to make sure any images that you use for this are 2000 by 1200, as this is the optimum image size for this theme. You're also gonna get the whole audio of this video to listen to, and you can download all of this over on our blog at websitesmadeeasy.tv forward slash blog forward slash dream, believe, achieve, start blog. 
here it is. And all you do is click download and it'll download ready for you to use. Here we go, here's the file, here are all your images, as well as the audio file. And this here is a little surprise that I'm gonna show you in a moment. It's actually a little video that I made specifically for the header. And you're gonna love this. And you get to use this on your own blog if you'd like to. But I'm gonna show you this in a moment. Also, this blog post is the whole video in text form. So you can read through any of the steps if you'd like to. So are you ready for the next step? You're now gonna start editing this theme and make it into your own beautiful blog. Let's go. Okay, back in WordPress. Let's create your blog's pages so your content and blog posts have somewhere to live. So on your toolbar, go to Pages and Add New. Here is where you create your blog pages and it's easy, don't worry about it. All you do is give your page a title. So the first page I'll create is the Welcome page, which is a nice little section here which introduces what your blog is all about. Enter your title here, and in this area is where you enter in any content, images, videos that you want to use. And to help you, you've got all these tools here. So you can bold, you can add headings, create lists, block quotes, align text, create links, change the color of text. There are loads of options here to get creative with your posts. I've already got this done, so I'll paste it in. And you don't need to write much here, just grab the reader's attention, let them know what you're about, how you can help with what they might be looking for. A few paragraphs is all you need here. I've just gone ahead and let them know what we do at Websites Made Easy and told them about our signature WTC system, which takes them through building a profitable blog or website in just three steps. And I've also linked the website as well. So it then takes them to this page where they can learn all about the WTC system. Fantastic. Now all you do is click on publish here and you're all done. It's as easy as that. You've just created your first page. Congratulations. How about another one? Now you might be thinking, I really don't want to write or create posts. It just isn't me. Or I don't know how to write effective copy. Well, don't worry because you can get it done for you. Upwork.com is the number one place to find freelancers who can help you out with anything that you need, such as blog posts. You just create a free account write a quick job description, and you'll be sent proposals from all kinds of people around the world who know and love what they're doing, and it's very affordable too. Next is Fiverr.com, which is the same concept as Upwork, so check both of these out and you'll definitely find someone to help you with your blog posts. Let's do one more and then you can go and see how your beautiful blog is coming along. Just click on Add New at the top here, and this time you'll create your blog page so your blog posts have somewhere to live. So write blog here and you can leave this area as this page will pull the blog posts that you've created into it automatically. Now with this page, let's add your first image. This is gonna look amazing, are you ready? Go to set featured image here and then make sure you're in upload image. And then click on select files. Find the image file that you downloaded from our blog and feel free to choose whichever image that you want. I'm gonna use this one as it's just stunning and it gives an amazing first impression. Wait for that to upload and then click on set featured image. Now again, just click on publish and you're done. Your blog page is set up and ready to use. Are you ready to see how your new blog is coming along? Let's go check it out. First, you need to make sure that your blog is displaying the right pages. So go to Appearance and then Customize. And you've got lots of settings here to customize your blog. And we'll be getting into this a bit later. So for now, just go to Homepage Settings. And here you want to make sure Static Front Page is selected. And for Homepage, you want to select your Welcome Page that you created. And for the Posts Page, select the Blog Page. And now, click the arrow to go back and go to theme options. And this is where you can add the different sections to your blog, like these here. Each one of these is a page and it's been added to the section option in here. So all you do is add your blog page to the first section here by selecting it from the dropdown. Now, make sure you always save at the top and then click the cross here to go back to the dashboard. So, are you ready? 
Go up here again and open your blog up to see how it's looking. Here's the amazing header. So scroll down. Yes, here's your welcome section looking great. This is a lovely little start to your blog. Now get ready. Incredible, look how good this looks. It seamlessly goes to your blog section. It flows smoothly. It's so elegant and works incredibly well. Just imagine how your visitors are going to love looking around your new blog. Here's your blog section where it will display your newest blog posts once you've written some and we'll get into that very soon. I hope you're feeling excited because you're doing so well. Let's keep this momentum going. Head back to your dashboard so you can create the rest of your pages. So again, go to pages and add new and you'll now create your home, about and contact us pages. Let's start with the about for the title and I've already got my content for this page so I'll paste that in and I'll show you how to create a link here. So for example, this is already bolded. You can make it into a link by highlighting it and clicking this button here. Then enter the URL that you want people to be taken to. So for this example, I'll use our new websites made easy website. So this would take people directly to this page where they can browse, get to know our WTC system, browse our blog and so on. Copy that URL and then paste that in here. Now it's a working link. Lastly, you want to add a featured image like before. So click featured image here, upload image, select files and choose the image that you want to use. I'm going to use this one for a bit of contrast from the last one. OK, as you can see, uploading this image has come up with an error to show you because it's rare something like this happens, but technology can sometimes do this. But all you need to do is make sure the image dimensions are 2000 by 1200, like I said earlier. This error is coming up because the image is a lot larger than this. But all the images that we're giving you are good to go. So I'm going to use this image. There we go, it's uploaded perfectly fine. Then click on publish. All right, next is your contact us page. So click add new, add in your title, and I'll paste in something I've already written. And as you can see on the finished website, you have a contact form so people can easily get in contact with you. This is super easy to do with a little plugin which you'll install in a moment. First, upload your featured image. I'll use this one. Fantastic, looking good. And then publish. OK, now on the toolbar, go to plugins and add new. If you don't know what plugins are, they're basically little tools that you can install to enhance your blog even further, like your contact form or the share plugin you'll be using later, so people can instantly share your blog to their friends and family. You'll be installing more plugins soon, but for this one, all you need to do is search here and you need to type in contact form 7. Here it is. So install it and then activate. Great, now you'll have a new option on your toolbar. So go there and click on contact forms. This is where you can create your contact forms and you've got one already done by default, but we'll delete that one and then create a new form by clicking add new. First to give it a title, then down here are the different fields for your contact form and you don't need to change anything here. I just leave it as it is as this works perfectly fine. You've also got more options here if you'd like to customize how the form works. There are some good settings here to play around with, but as I said, it works great as it is, so I'm gonna leave it just like this. Then make sure you save. And then all you do is copy this code here, which you'll then be pasting on your contact page. So go to your contact us page, and you want to put your cursor underneath this text. Then paste in the code and then update. Remember, we need to add the new pages to our theme option settings in the customize area. Remember, you go to appearance and then customize. And you can also add your home page here. Head to menus and click on your main menu here. And if you don't have one, just click create new menu. And you might not have any of these yet, so don't worry about that. So just click on add items and then find home here and add that and you've added your home page. This makes it easy for anyone to get back to your main page from anywhere on your blog. I'm going to rearrange this so it's at the top here. And then as always, make sure to save by clicking publish. 
and then click this arrow to go back. Then theme options and I'm going to have the about page as the next section and then the contact us page. And always remember to save by clicking publish. Now, just before we go check out our blog, I want to show you how you can add your own image to the header area, or even better, a beautiful video, which is even more engaging and looks amazing on the header. Click the arrow to go back. Then go to header media, and in here you can upload your header image by clicking on add new image here, and then selecting the image that you want to use. But I'm going to upload a video, so, Instead, you would choose select video and just like an image, you choose the video that you want to use and upload it. Now take note of the maximum size of the video. It's got to be this or under for it to upload and work. You can also enter a YouTube URL here if your video is published on YouTube. And then remember to click on publish. One last thing, let's remove this text here to make the header area more clean and tidy. So click the arrow to go back then site identity and here you can just unselect display site title and tagline much better underneath here you also have the option to use a site icon or favicon and these are the little images that you see next to the url which is a nice professional look and feel to any blog or website so that's there if you'd like to use it now click publish and head back to the dashboard and open up your new blog Whoa, look at this. Absolutely fantastic. This is a perfect first impression of your blog. Just imagine having your own story here, telling people all about yourself. You should feel super proud of having this as your blog. Let's scroll down and here's a welcome page. There's your blog and we'll be adding some blog posts next. These images are so good, I'm sure you agree. Beautiful, here's our about page. And remember, you made this a clickable link, so let's check it works. Yes, perfect, there we go. And here's the contact us page. Wonderful, it's really coming together and you're nearly finished. You see how quick this is to do? So now head to your dashboard and I'll show you how to create your first blog post. So now you want to go to posts and add new. This is just like creating a page. You fill in the title of your post and then the content, and you can add a feature image, which is the image that you see here on the blog post, which looks amazing. It's also important to create some categories to group posts together. This way your fans can find other related posts, which they might also like. So this gets more of your content in front of more people. Then you've got format, but you don't really need to touch this as standard works great, so don't worry about this. Okay, first, add your title. So mine is three easy ways to boost your blog's image. And I'll paste in some content I've already got. There we go. And remember, you've got all those tools to edit your content. So be creative and make sure it's engaging. Next, I'll add the featured image and I'll choose this one. Great, that's all done. And for categories, all you do is click on add new category. Then write in your category and click on add new category and it's added. I'll create the rest of my categories that I'm going to use for the other posts. So again, all I do is write in the name and add it in. Super simple. Okay, all done. So now click on publish and you have just created your very first blog post. Give yourself a pat on the back. This is a great achievement. Well done. I'm now going to create two more blog posts, just like before, it's the same process. Click on add new, give the post a title, add in your content, add a featured image, and choose the category for the post. And publish it, it's so quick. By the way, as you can see in this post, I have a few images, and to do that is so easy. You put your cursor where you want this image to be, and then you click on add media here. Then choose the image you want, and it's placed in there. You can then align it and click this little button to edit this image. You can also click and drag these little handles to resize the image if you'd like. Pause the video while you create a blog post or two and I'll see you in a moment. Perfect, so as you can see I have a few blog posts created 
and these will automatically be published on my blog page. Let's check it out. This looks so good. So scrolling down and here it is, here's the blog. And this section shows a few of your posts. People can click and go to your post to see more. Fantastic. This is the featured image. And as people scroll down, they see the rest of your post. Beautiful. One thing I did notice is this image at the top above the header image. You don't really need this. So to remove it, go to appearance and customize. Find header media. Scroll down and click hide image and this will remove that image. I also noticed that this sidebar needs to be cleaned up as well. Each of these little tools are called widgets. They add a bit more functionality to your blog. We won't keep all these widgets though as some of these aren't useful and it looks cluttered. And as you can see your categories are here so people can click these to see more related posts as well as recent posts and a search bar at the top. Awesome, so you've got some posts created, your blog page is working and your audience can consume your content. Amazing work. You're on the home stretch, you're nearly done with your blog. All you need to do is add your menu at the top here, clean up the sidebar, add some widgets to your footer area like your social media buttons and add some of your favorite plugins which is a game changer when it comes to blogging. Let's start by creating your menu which is here at the top and it holds the pages you've created, which then allows people to easily look around and browse your blog. So go to appearance and then menus. And now give your new menu a name and click on create new menu. Then all you do is select the pages on the left that you want included in your menu. So I'll choose home, about, blog and contact us. Then click on add to menu. And now you can arrange the pages by clicking and dragging. So I'm going to have home first, then about, blog, and then contact us. That's great. Then make sure you save. And you're done. Let's now quickly create your social media menu so people can then visit your Facebook or Twitter, which keeps the conversation going and builds your blog further. So click on create a new menu, give your menu a name, and click on create menu. And now you want to click on custom links here. And now all you do is add in your social media pages links. To get your social media pages link is very easy. If you've got a Facebook page, for example, the link is right here at the top. So you just copy that and then paste it in here. And give that link a name and click add to menu. Do that for all your pages and then select social links menu here and then save menu. I forgot to add our main menu to the top of the page. So head back to that by selecting it here and then clicking select and make sure this option is ticked. Then save again. Now, as you can see on your blog, you'll have a nice looking menu here at the top, which takes people to your other pages, as well as a social media menu on your footer here at the bottom. So now let's clean up that sidebar and add the widgets to your footer. This is so quick to do. Just go to Appearance and then Widgets. This page allows you to add or remove any widgets on your sidebars. And as you can see, you've got your blog sidebar as well as two footer areas. I'll start with a blog sidebar. So click to open it up. And I'm gonna keep search, recent posts and categories. So I'll remove the rest. And to do that, you just click this little arrow to open it and click on delete to remove it. Do that for any widgets that you don't want. Perfect, so now close that and open up the footer areas which you'll be adding a few widgets to. On the left are all the widgets available and there are quite a few, but you only want one of these and it's the text widget. So find that and it should be at the bottom. Here it is. Click on it and it will give you the option to select an area to add it into. So then just add it in. And here it is in your footer one. So now just add in your content. Here I'm going to write in our hours. So I'll give it a title and then write them in here and click save. Now minimize footer one because you're done with that area. Find the text widget again and add that into footer two. And here I'm gonna have our location. 
So I'll write in location and then add in our address, as well as a number and an email to give people another way to get in contact. And like before, this email is clickable. You just make it into a link by clicking this button and then it adds mail to and then your email. Then save and you're done. Let's have a quick look at how your blog is doing with those new sidebar and footer areas. Perfect. There's the footer with your social media and so on, all working perfectly. And there's the new sidebar with categories and recent posts. It's looking so good. And people are going to love looking around, reading your blog posts and getting to know you. One thing I did notice when I looked at the blog, here's one of the blog posts. And if I scroll down, the whole blog is here, which is a bit unnecessary. It looks messy and cluttered. Instead, it should only show a glimpse of your post. So go to your posts and you want to find a nice place to have what's called a read more tag, which will show a taster of your post. I'll put mine about here. Then update and let's check it out. So here's the post again. And if I scroll down now, that's much better. It shows a little bit of the post instead of the whole thing. And I've done this for the other posts too. And this page looks much cleaner now. So I recommend you do this with yours. All people have to do is click on read more and they'll see the whole post. It looks fantastic. You're on the final step now to building an absolutely beautiful blog. Leveraging a couple of plugins is going to make sure your blog is running at its fastest, which is also going to get your blog higher in search results because Google loves fast loading times. And people visiting your blog can instantly share your content to their friends and family, their social media, expanding people's awareness, and growing your fans even further. And it's so easy to get going with this. Just go to plugins on your toolbar and add new. This page lists thousands of plugins available for you to use. And you can search from all kinds of different plugins, from contact forms, music players, photo albums. It's amazing. But the first plugin we're going to install is a little tool called WP Supercache. So search for that here and it'll pop up where you can click for more info and check out its rating as well as when it was last updated. And this is actually important. You want to try to always use plugins which are updated all the time, not left for years, as this makes sure the security for your blog is at its best and the plugin functions well with your theme. Now all you do is click install and then activate. Now you'll get a couple of messages here saying that you need to set this up. And you want to click on plugin admin page here, then click caching on and update status and then test cache. And this looks all good. So perfect. You're all done. And this will now run in the background and make sure your blog is running smoothly for your visitors. OK, let's jump into the next plugin, which is one of my favorites, as it's a plugin part of a suite of plugins available for you. And this is a nice way to introduce you to the Sumo Me plugins. These are some of the best plugins for WordPress used by millions worldwide because they work so well. Let's head to plugins again and you want to search for Sumo Me. Here it is. So again, click on install and then activate. Great. Now you'll get this message on the right, which is asking you to set up Sumo Me. So go over and click the crown icon, which appears. Now you want to create a free account. So just enter your email and password and click sign up. This is so exciting. It's setting it up all for you. And now you'll see this page letting you know about their subscriptions. But don't worry, you don't need to subscribe or pay anything as the plugin we'll be installing is completely free to use. So just click the cross here to exit this. And welcome to your Sumo Me dashboard. This is a dedicated space for you to set up your Sumo Me plugins, which we'll get into in a moment. On the left here, you'll see a toolbar. You're looking for a plugin called Share. Head to Social and you'll see Share here. So click on that and it'll take you into the Share plugin. And you can either connect your Facebook or not. I won't for now. And now you just want to click activate and it's ready to go. 
Now you could just leave it just as it is. It's ready and working and it's live on your blog right now. But I'm going to quickly show you a few settings in case you want to play around with it a bit more. Here at the top you've got settings, layout, as well as lots more options. So go to settings and you'll find that you can change which social media services you want displayed in your plugin, which ones you want people to be able to share your content to. And you can move these around, add them in and remove them just by clicking and dragging. You've got more settings down here to change how the plugin or buttons look and lots more. Make sure to save in the bottom right and next let's look at layout. In layout you can change where you want the share plugin to appear. So you can have it on the left, the top, bottom, in the middle as well as where you want it to appear on mobile. So make sure to save anything you have done and let's go and have a look at your share plugin. Just click the cross to exit Sumo Me. And to get back into Sumo Me, you just click this crown icon here. So go to your blog and share should pop at the side here. There you go. Isn't that cool how a little plugin can add so much functionality. Now this is working and ready. Anyone can share this to wherever you like by just clicking one of these buttons. Amazing work. This will mean the difference between no one finding out about your blog to your content being shared from one person to potentially hundreds of their friends. And guess what? You're finished. You've got your functioning, beautiful blog live online and you did it all by yourself. That's an amazing achievement. You should be really proud. And there's so much more you can do with this. For example, building email lists so you're able to send your content to people who have signed up this way, you've always got a way to be in touch with them and bring them back to your blog. And making sure your SEO or search engine optimization is correctly set up is extremely important to make sure your content is seen by the right people. These things aren't covered in this video as I just wanted to keep this simple and as quick for you as possible to get a blog up and running so you have a strong foundation set. So now you can get into this more advanced stuff of creating call to actions, lead magnets, setting up MailChimp, email lists, and so on. These things are the next step and are totally game changing if you want to set yourself apart from everyone else and build a strong, loyal audience that will come back again and again. So to start learning all about that, you'll find a link in the description that will take you to our website where you'll find everything you need. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.